gamers who got caught cheating live. This happens more often than we know, so let's get into it. Miss Q Gemini. Now, cheating in video games isn't a crime, but the way streamer Miss Q Gemini tried to cover up her blatant cheating absolutely was. This young, ambitious gamer regularly streamed herself playing the ferociously competitive Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO for short, which CSGO is an is online an ass multiplayer first-person shooter game. However, back in 2017, she started her stream with a huge rant about how she'd been unfairly accused of cheating. You know what's really sad? That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating! Oh we my god. Those pesky trolls. But then... Okay. Saying you're not cheating live and then getting caught? I'm, uh, if that was me, I'm done streaming for the rest of the year. During the game's warm-up phase, she seemed to forget that the whole world could see her screen and she brought up a cheat software menu. After hitting the load coding button, all of her rivals' ranks and locations suddenly began appearing through the walls. For those of you who don't play CSGO, how do you cheat and forget normal. that you're streaming? You're pack. streaming. How do you forget? To locate their opponents through solid objects in the game's arena. Hacks like this are a sneaky way of gaining the upper hand in multiplayer shooter games, and Miss Q Gemini's viewers were quick to pick up on it. But blissfully unaware she'd been caught, she continued to play and even worse, lose. And it's at that point how she. How do you lose? hacking and then saying you're one of the best but you lose hacking i don't get that finally realized what she'd done as you can see from her facial expressions watch her blame someone else After being caught red-handed, you'd think this would be the time to fess up, right? Well, take a listen to the cringy excuses that start falling out of her mouth. You guys, um, you, do you guys ever get that, uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank? That it, it shows everyone's rank? You can Clara, hear it in her voice. She's nervous. <laughs> Clara, let me just message this girl. Give me one second. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. I'm this is what happens when you let people use your PC. Yeah, sure, buddy. All right, that's nice to know. Yeah, it definitely wasn't Clara that we watched load the cheat code at the beginning of this game. <laughs> After that, Miss Q Gemini guiltily abandoned the match, and her CSGO account was eventually slapped with an anti-cheat ban. But following massive backlash from the streaming community, her Twitch account also disappeared soon after. Forsaken. When it comes to cheating in CSGO, it's safe to say no player has ever been more humiliated than Mikhil Forsaken Kumawat. During the Extremes Land Zowie Asia Tournament in 2018, Forsaken was competing as part of the pro esports team Optic India. They'd entered into the top tier CSGO tournament, which had a hefty prize pool of $100,000. But as. 100,000? Nah, I'm cheating too, shit! Forsaken was playing, someone reported him for suspicious activity, and an administrator was called in. At first, Forsaken boldly refused the admin access to his terminal, but after they asserted their position, they probed into his setup and discovered a suspicious program running in the background. When it was pointed out, oh wait, Forsaken I think I remember this. Batted their hands away and tried he tried to, to delete it, it in yeah. Front of their eyes. Stunned, the administrators disqualified Forsaken on the spot, and the entire Optic India team was booted from the event. When they finally got a good look at Forsaken's terminal, they discovered the illegal aimbots he'd been desperately trying to delete. These are hacks that provide easier target acquisition for players and Damn. are expressly prohibited by CSGO. But what made it worse was that they'd been accessed multiple times, meaning he cheated in many different matches in order to get his hands on that I was gonna prize money. I was going to say it's unfair to disqualify actions, the whole team, but like, full five -year ban from he'd been e cheating a lot, so. The pro player was also booted from his team, but in the overwhelmingly embarrassing aftermath, Optic India was dissolved all Do you think the team knew about it? I feel like this is something the team would know, but was trying to keep it on the down low. Tavo Betancourt. 
Have you ever heard of speedrunning before? It's where players record themselves racing to complete levels or entire games as fast as humanly possible. And some of these times are so fast, they're only separated by the split second of a button push. Damn. It's not the most well-known style of gameplay, but because the community is made up of passionate nerds like me, speedrunning is a serious business. And that's why YouTuber Tavo Betancourt came under heavy fire when Mexican channel Badaboon uploaded his insanely fast Super Mario Bros. speedrun back in 2017. He effortlessly sailed through the entire game. Nah, that don't even look real. Seconds. While this run earned him plenty of online views, the speedrunning community spotted some serious problems. For a start, even though the attempt was just five minutes long, Tavo took the time to guzzle down coke and pizza as he was playing. Surely, if he were taking this seriously, he could have waited five minutes to have his dinner, right? Secondly, the game's counters suspiciously didn't match. That's what, what I'm saying. Like here, where Tavo collects 11 coins, but the counter curiously increases by 12. It was clear that Tavo had stolen someone's speedrun footage and mashed it with a different counter so that it wasn't too obvious he'd stolen it. But this minor mistake oh. didn't escape the attention of real speedrunners. They tracked down the original footage and revealed that it had been brazenly stolen from world record speedrunner Darbian. And when the community found out... Nah, he had to have done this for... Online. He jokes there's no way he did this seriously apologized claiming it was just part of a social experiment lame excuses aside it's pretty clear that this was just done for clout seeing how despite his apology his run is still up on potapoon's channel although now i reckon it'll take more than video splicing for tavo to outrun his ruined reputation super fast jellyfish the impossibly precise button presses and muscle memory required for speedrunning are insanely difficult to master, which is why blindfolded speedrunning is even more... Blindfolded. There's no way. If somebody can send me a clip of somebody doing this blindfolded, a speedrun, anything, I'll give you $100. Or mind-blowing. Just using audio cues and their memory, players complete games as quickly as possible without once looking at their screens. Considering most people couldn't even get past a start menu blindfolded, this is some god tier gaming. So when unknown gamer Super Fast Jellyfish live streamed his blindfolded speedrun of Super Mario 64 in just 42 minutes, the speedrunning community was stunned, but not in a good way. For a start, there are only three certified blindfolded streamers who have submitted their. Oh wait, this is real. <laughs> ranging from twenty just got minutes to one hour and fifty-eight minutes, this would have put Superfast Jellyfish in third, even though he claimed he'd only ever done three blindfolded speedruns before. But compared to his competitors, Superfast Jellyfish's gameplay was suspicious. He left audio alerts on, which are hugely distracting and can mess up a real blindfolded speedrunner's timing. Thank you for the follow. I just, I fell off. I can tell I fell off. This is your second blindfolded run, isn't it? Uh, technically this is my third. Unfazed by this, he then talked continuously through sections that real blindfolded speedrunners know requires careful attention to audio details. Did I check for saves? No, because uh, I, I, don't, I don't save the game. These were huge red flags for the speedrunning community, and they called out Superfast Jellyfish for cheating by using a blindfold he could see through. Clearly caught out, Superfast Jellyfish eventually came clean. Well, kinda. What you may not know is that that speedrun was purposely fake. It was purposely fake. Stop the cap! Instead of a proper apology, he tried to save face by claiming he purposefully faked the speedrun. And yet, How? he only admitted this after he was exposed? Yeah, that's called cheating, but better luck next time. Joshua Ottenen Kriegshauser. 
Game developers often stream games they're working on as an awesome way of interacting with the game's community, but these developers usually have special abilities other players don't, which can look like cheats, as Joshua Altenil Kriegshauser awkwardly discovered back in 2017. The technical director of the Battle Royale game H1Z1 decided to stream the match he was playing with his friends on Twitch, but when he blasted through a rival group of players, their reactions shocked him. What's happening? Why are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating. A dev? Cheating. Wait, wait, you not see him? Oh, he's a dev? Yes. Oh my god, am I hidden? Ooh, cheating like that definitely isn't a good look for a developer. Although it's Is that cheating though if he's a developer? Maybe it was an accident. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was an accident. Let's see. Like he genuinely forgotten to turn off his special cloak of invisibility. Either that or he just really wanted to show those 12 year olds who was boss. Azubu Frost. With over 100 million monthly players, League of Legends is one of the largest online multiplayer games in the world. For those who don't know it, it involves two teams battling it out to occupy and defend their half of a map. And to do this, players have to strategically attack or hide from the other team. But professional esports team Azubu Frost found an inventive way of. Oh, wait, the whole team? During the Season 2 World Championships, Azubu Frost faced off against Team Solo Mid. From the get go, the match was plagued by technical issues, which caused multiple pauses. But during these pauses, members of Team Azubu Frost sneakily checked out the mini map that was being broadcast on the huge stadium screen behind them. This allowed them to see exactly where the other team was heading and what they were planning. Team Captain Wung in particular looked back at the screen on a number of occasions before recklessly altering his gameplay. Azubu Frost won the round, but an investigation by League of Legends developer Riot Games later determined that Wung clearly gained an unfair advantage by looking at the screens. He also shared the information with his team, which led them to certain victory. For this unsportsmanlike behavior, Azubu Frost was fined 20% of their tournament winnings. Wait, they still won? A total of $30,000. Wait. They still got paid for winning. Nah, that doesn't make sense.